The question number three is to find extrema of polynomial functions. Here we have been given the equations of the graph. We need to graph this equation and then we need to find where the extrema maximum or minimum lies. Let's take our calculators and type mode and then option number seven for table. Type this equation as it is. It's minus two x cubed and then we have plus 12 x squared and lastly minus 8 x. Now what you need to do is press equal to. If you get another option, don't type anything, just press equal to. Most of you may not have the second option, you directly come over here. Where do you want to start? Say start at minus 3 or minus 5 and ending also at 3 or 4 or 5, anything. Step, let it be 1. And you can see here the values are given of the graph. Now, this is how you can easily deduce the graph. If the options are four graphs, that's it. You can easily calculate it out. Now, you can see here it starts with minus 3, which is 186, which is too huge. Now, for minus 2, it is about 80. Okay, minus 1 is 22. Yes, that's approximately correct. 0 is 0. And 1 is 2, 2 is 16, 3 is 30. You can see as again it increases. But now if you go further, since it's a cubic, right, you should know there is a increase and decrease again. So whichever points matches one of the graph, you can eliminate the other options and select it. But now what about the maximum and minimum points? Here you can see where it dips down is the minimum point. The minimum is at 0 0.5 or over here it's written between 0 to 1. And where is the maximum? It's between 3 to 4. So that is how we can deduce it. Where is the maximum and minimum? You can even check it out in your calculator. Now, if you just have, say, more values over here for the same function, let's take starting point as minus, uh, say, 5 and ending at plus 10 or something. Uh, more value, more detailed. You can see it's increased too much and it reduces, reduces and then it changes, it goes down over here. So you can tell this is the minimum point from way to way, zero to one is more likely, not from minus one to 20, uh, minus one to zero. Why? Because over here there is a huge dip and then from here you can see it's recovering. So more likely zero to one, there is a minimum point and where is again maximum, you can see here now. From about, say three to four, you can see that there might be a maximum because then again it is reducing, see? So that's how we can easily reduce from the graph itself and predict the values. Look at the options and check the answers. If it's graphing, it's very easy. From this, you can easily graph it out and then you can choose which is the maximum and minimum. So now since there are four options, you can easily eliminate the wrong options and directly select the correct one. All these are the same thing. Graph them up, you can see the maximum is over here near to zero it's at minus 0 0.3 it's very close to zero and minimum maximum is at minus 0 0.3 minimum over here is at 1.6 over here it's around 1.7 something like that same way you can graph any degree okay in the mode 7 you can put any degree doesn't matter you will get the graph and maximum and minimum over here there's only a minimum point at x is minus 1 similarly please solve the other questions as well and over here, we have a real world problem. A banker models the expected value V of a company in millions of dollars by using this formula here, where N is the number of years in business, graph the function, describe its key features over the relevant domain. Now here, you just have to put this in the calculator, get the values, graph it out. Now here, they want you to, uh, you know, know which is the relevant domain. Now, since it's N is the number of years of business, you can't have any negative values. It's only from, I mean, negative x axis. It's only from year 0, 1, 2, 3. You can see starting years, it was struggling and then it started increasing its revenue, right? So from here, see the domain must be greater than or equal to 0. Why? Because you cannot have negative years. It's from when the business started, number of years, right? Now, what about the range? Now, range is the lowest is minus 4. So, it's all values greater than because you can't consider the left side, right? Now, this is increasing indefinitely. It's just going up. So, that means range is from this point. That is minus 4 and more. So, that's the thing. You can see the hand behavior over here as well if you want. 
uh, over here n behavior is only as x tends to infinity not the left side only the right side even y is going to infinity or f of x and you can see the x intercepts are at two points zero zero and even over here that is one two three comma zero there is a y intercept at zero zero itself and this is the graph details similarly over here there's equation and you just have to graph it out and over here you can use graphing i mean we don't have graphing calculator generally so it's fine your normal regular calculator is more than enough it should be a scientific calculator and over here they have given a lot of value see such problem may not come because you need a graphing calculator to directly get the equation but even without that you can now what they have given is they, they have given a lot of data if you put it in the calculator it will scatter plot it so it will give you the graph like this and even you can extract the equation from directly from this graph it gives you the equation now what you can do is if you have four different equations easily check which is the correct equation graph them make the table mode 7 for all these equations and compare it with the given question so it should match it might be a graph it should match that's it so easily you can deduce which is the wrong answers and the correct answer if the four options are there and that's the end of the question three focus on the graphing part using mode 7 and if it's a real world problem like business and everything know the domain it can only be positive real numbers so this is the most important things to remember in the question number three.